Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back on again today to do a project share for Coco in Reno. Um, I do have what I made last month, but I don't have the dies out. It was like a baking um, little theme. There was like little, here's a little, um, like the little electric mixer. And then there's a little knife and a spoon. There was a bunch of other little stuff, but there was some cute little aprons, and I just made some embellishments out of them. Aren't these cute? And then I made, I used um, a Scrap Diva design dies to make this little um, recipe card. It's her newest tab set that just came out. I think it's tab number two. But I made just a little cute little recipe card and the live love bake was in the um last months and so are these little um rolling pins so cute and then for this month it was the gnome cutting dies you get a set of gnomes so cute this is my favorite little piece of all of them this little snowman but you get, um, get over there, gnome there, a gnome there. There's like a little snow globe with two little gnomes. And there's like a little gnome with a snow tree. And then here's like the little house. Here's the backer piece for the gnome um, shaker or gnome little, uh, oh, what the heck is this thing called? Snow globe. But here is a few of the little gnomes cut out I still don't have like any um like paper for the back of it you would just um you can either leave them like this or you can glue this right onto paper and just cut it out all around it and then here is the little house so cute and then I made um the globe into a shaker so cute and then here is another one that's just flat. There's no, um, I didn't make it into a shaker piece, but so pretty. Just put a little pom-pom and maybe cut the dies out and do some different colors in through here. But so cute. And then the other piece that I made for this month is a um, cut file I saw on Instagram. And it's from B. Valent or be valiant. I don't want to butcher her name, but it was to make this little snow globe that you can put on like a decoration for your tree. So cute. And in the back, you just make a little so you can put um, a little message. And then it slides. There's like little cut marks here that this goes right into. Well, I don't have that exactly lined up perfectly, but there's little um, cut marks. You, This is a file I cut on Cricut. And if you do cut this on Cricut, um, I don't know if this was made for Silhouette, you do have to adjust the cut lines into score marks for like folding or else it'll cut those out. This is so cute. And this did not come, this whole plastic piece right here did not come um, with the SVG file. You just have to figure it out. And I think it was two and three quarters and I did not measure this. I just glued it right here, figured out where I needed to cut it um, and then cut that. And then you do have to make your mark right here so that you can, um, poke a hole here and then I just put a little um hanger and I forget what those things are called not a grommet but the other little thing there this came out so cute and in the cut file you do get this little plastic piece or this little cut out here and I did it in plastic and I also did it in paper but here is the Coco and Reno dies inside here's that little house and then here is that cute little snowman. Hopefully I'm in frame. But you guys, this is so cute. There is, um, I think, two other options for this. And I do have the other size. And I was going to make another one just for fun. I was thinking about doing a Hello Kitty one. But this is so cute. 
but I will share what I made for this month again. I can't really see him them there. And then what did I do with the dies? Oh, here they are. And here are the dies for Coco and Reno for this month. And I do have a coupon code, which is Little Pink 10, and you can save 10% off of your order. So hopefully you guys will go check out um, Coco and Reno. They still have some other dyes from um, past kits left to purchase. And thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye.